Oh, something's happening. Hey, what's this thing? Hmm, huh. no idea. Some kind of junk. Hey. Who's there? Oh, okay. Hello? Turn it over. Noah, this guy. Yeah. He means business. Hurry it up. And by it, you mean this? Why would we ever hand it over to some knuckle-headed chump like... Oh. Huh? Ooh. Guys! Weapons ready! Oh! Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Huh, more of these. Got it. Twenty-eight. Okay, that's uh. Hopefully, we're not in over our heads here. It doesn't help that I didn't really set up for this properly. More than anything, let's heal. Yeah, I won't get there, but okay. This just gets really lagging high. No. The 
resolution really likes to go down. The evasion does... Oh. Oh, did I not need to go all the way? Oh well. I could probably handle that all the way. He wasn't doing that much damage. Given Arden's ass, he's gonna regret it. Guy needs a lesson. <laughs> Just to be sure, there's no chance we could talk this over. <laughs> Guess we can take that as a no then. Does that help from us, or for us, or for him? Hey. He's running away. Cross them, presumably. We should probably go pick up the thing he wanted before that. How in the world? He's got guns, though. That sounds fun. You lot, identify yourselves. Uh, we are. Probably enemies to you. Kavesi soldiers? Tell me, have you seen a man in a mask? We've been looking for him. Wait, they're with a bunch of Agnians. Must be those Ouroboros we've been hearing about. Traitors to the crown. Huh? Since when did we ever? Oh, you think you can talk your way out of a righteous beating? <laughs> Not today. Oh boy. Okay. Right back into it. Today is really not our day, is it? So it seems. Accuracy down. Woo! Good old group battles. Where this is like easily the best of the Ouroboros ones. Because it heals and it keeps our accuracy down and hits AoE. Retreat! Fall back! What is with everyone? Yeah, it's getting kind of ridiculous by this point. We learned something pretty interesting, though. Yeah, they said they'd been looking for the man we fought against earlier. I wonder what happened. He could also be a deserter. If Kevez is after him, then maybe he wasn't our enemy after all. Yeah, but he wasn't willing to explain himself, which sort of, you know, throws a loop into all that sort of stuff. I'll remind you, he did attack us, mate. Yes, that does make it hard to classify him as an ally. Some kind of deserter, perhaps? Hey, if he jumped in the river, he'll have been carried downstream. We could definitely follow that, yeah. We could try and catch him at the bottom, figure out what's what. He may yet prove hostile, though. If he does, then we whack him. And if he doesn't, we listen to what he says. Great plan, or what? I... Uh, does that qualify as a plan to you? A plan takes forethought and... planning. What you did is post hoc rationalize your own... <sighs> what do you think? <laughs> I completely and utterly agree with him, too. <laughs> Let's go and see. Uh, I, I don't think I'm as, like withholding to that uh, mindset, but I definitely agree with him. Uh, uh, following footprints, that sounds fun. Okay, well, I will not jump for now, because I still need to do stuff up here. Why don't we pick up the thing that, like, he wanted? It doesn't seem like we picked it up, at least. They didn't mention anything about that. Huh. Oh, it disappeared. It's just behind the cloud? Yeah, there's some glowing structures out that way. What is that way? So if we look where we are in the map... That way. 
which would be... I guess in the middle -ish. It's in that big middle area, because this is actually probably a better f like understanding of the general shape of everything, right? Okay, this is the Forgotten Supplies one. With looking something? Can't believe we actually found it. Fine if this is all we're contending with. Okay, let's try. Oh, okay, I see them now. They sort of blend in, don't they? There we go. What have we got? Stop right there. Oh, no. Wait, Noah? Uh, Trish? So we both had the same idea. Crafter 2. On Kite's orders. They're going through old logs, came across a container that was never found. What a coincidence. So they're not going to let us take it back because they want to do it to give him reputation, right? We'll be taking back what you found. So hand it over nicely. You have two ticks. Honestly, I... The fact that there's a choice... Well, we're not planning to use it. Just take it. Use it. If you want to play politics, that's your game. Okay. We plan to take it to Colony 9 from the start. But if you were looking for it too, then it's better if you take it back. We will. But you can't go empty-handed. You deserve something for getting the monsters out of the way. Kind of you. Anyway. We have other places left to investigate, so we'll head off. See ya. So. It's not much, but... Uh, do we take this to Kamiya? Right. Like, we were getting it for Colony 9 anyways, I mean... I guess my thought process is like, who cares who brings it back? It's for the Colony in general. Unless he's playing like some weird political game I'm just straight up not aware of. Where he's not like letting people actually get supplies they desperately need. Which I guess is totally within the possibility. Given uh, how the guy acts. Okay. Footprints. Well, hopefully Big Gorilla Man lets me follow these for as long as I need to. Oh, why, hello there. Long time no see. Finally. You're not getting away this time. I thought you might track me down. I didn't think you'd be so kind as to bring me my prize as well. What? Bit heedless of you, don't you think? Ouroboros. Huh? Wait, how does he know about us? Yeah, fishy. What are you all about then? I don't think I need to answer now. There were Kavesi troops looking for you. Come on, throw us a bone here. Look, we want to talk. If you could just open up a bit. Okay. Let's start with names. Ours are... Don't need them. Stick to the point. The Kavesi are after you, right? If you tell us what that's about, we... You do what? Huh? Concerns you. Right, so if it did concern us, you'd answer. That's something. Are you our enemy? Hmm. Still keeping mum? If you stop crying, we'll have no reason for hostilities. Says the guy who lashed out at us before. Yeah, not buying it. <laughs> oh, for sparks sakes, use your snuffing words! Cuny, chill. I hate people who won't say what they mean! Oh, this guy's flipping all my switches! Did you or did you not attack us just because you felt like it? Answer! It was just a warning. You neither need nor understand that thing that you have there. Don't you stick your necks where they don't belong. What, so you're gonna attack us again to get your hands on it? 
I told you clearly. Stop praying, and we won't have to fight. I wonder if this guy is like related to uh, Banham's group, maybe. So you need this thing, then? Well. So does that mean you're? Wait. It seems you were followed. Followed by who? Them again. Ha! We found you. I knew you were in cahoots. What? Being wrong. Now look what you've got us into. This blunder is entirely on you. Nah, -uh, let's let's blame each other back and forth until we die. But I'll lend you clean up. Wipe them out. Hang on, a lead, miss. This mother does nothing by halves. What are you mumbling now, traitors? Not that I care, actually. Get them! Okay. Back into it. You guys ready for us? Yeah. Sorry. Time to really go for it. Okay. So what's your fucking deal, man? What is that thing? They sure are persistent. It might be wise not to linger. Agreed. It'd be nice not to get wrapped up in any more scuffles. Uh, so why were those not after you anyway? Is it because of his sparkling personality? Ah, uh, perhaps so. Your tag? Oh, so now you acknowledge it. You can hold on to that. You mean... That shard from earlier? So you don't need it after all? I never said that. But I can't be bothered trying to convince you. Right, because talking to people is just such a chore. In time you will discover its purpose. But if you were to abuse it, I may have to dispose of you. It seems you can use your heads, even if just a little. I will choose to trust in my late friend's words. Gee, that makes us feel a lot better. I meant what I said. So now what? What will you do after this? Save your breath, Mio. It's not like he'll answer you anyway. I have something to take care of. Oh, so you'll answer her? Even if it puts soldiers on your trail? Naturally. All right, well, that's the end of that then. Your life, your choices, man. Hey. What now? Don't die, you lot. Huh? If you need me, you can call me. I'll assist. Th that's a 180, what? Uh... That's rich, coming from a guy that just tried to kill us. It was a warning. And a small test. What's this crap now? Honestly, I don't get this dude. I simply followed my friend's request. And your friend, that'd be who? Van Han, I'm gonna guess. I don't know. It, that, that would be my... The first thing that feels... Like it, not specifically to work with us, but to work with the Ouroboros people, that sort of thing. When you say you'll help us... We can just take you at your word. Either way, I can't have the bearers of that thing running around unsupervised. Doesn't exactly inspire confidence. But hey, he's strong, so that's something. That's an awfully kind offer there, mister, but we don't even know what to call you. About time we got a name, don't you think? <laughs> Come on. Whoa, hey, stop right there. Your name, Spock, you spill it! Grey. Call me Grey. I don't think that's his name. What was that guy's deal? Stuff if I know. Although he didn't look like a bad... Uh, I guess he kind of did look like a bad guy, huh? There does seem to be more to this story than we've seen so far. Just no fighting him again, please. Yeah, seconded. Punching his kind's not even all that satisfying. Grey, huh?
I mean, yeah, uh, uh, he... Conceptually, he seems to be very knowledgeable about us, about our situation. Maybe he didn't specifically give us information, but he sure acted like it. Oh, I mean, I, there's not much I can work with there. Something. Call me Gray. Yeah, I thought it might be uni. Uh... Dagger. Shots grow deadly with each consecutive hit. Time marks two enemy attacks to rack up hits. Two enemy attacks. Huh. Okay, well... Let's come at a decent time since she is working through DPS stuff. Oh, hey. I skipped a couple, apparently. I think I've got a couple things to talk to you about, actually. Come here. Hi, all. Anything you need? No, let me be clear. We're pretty limited in what we got. I'll leave this with you if that's okay. Oh, it's all food and supplies. How in the world did you... I'll make sure it gets to those who need it in the colony. Thanks so much for this. Yay. Hey. Huh? What well, spark did you get that? Excuse you. And don't feed me some crap about finding it just lying around, because that won't fly with me. What, you... <laughs> so this is what I think happened. Saw things couldn't last here and nicked it from someone else, didn't you? While well, we're forbidden from doing it. No, we found it at Everblight Plain. What? You're saying that we should loot and pilfer stuff to, uh, to survive? Well, what are your alternatives? Survive by taking from the living. Even though you don't need it, uh, need to fight anymore. Ugh. Don't touch any of this stuff, Camilla. Uh, Camilla. 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 I don't know. Look, I don't give a fuck. Now the colony's been free. Things can't back to the way they were before. I agree with him that this is the way to keep everyone in the colony alive. Camilla. Zion. If you're thinking of going along with this, you can... Ma ma ma, Kamiya! Kamiya! Uh, Hara, see, list of arrived goods. Hara, wait for this day so long, can I repair all our pieces at long last? Okay, Hara. Calm down. Zian, we aren't the only ones who aren't happy with your way of doing things. Oh, just so the shortages are sh uh, sorted out. Don't get so worked up about it. I understand Kite's opinion, though. We need those fields in working order, and then everything will work out. That is the long-term solution. Everything else is just a stopgap. I see some relations have changed. Uh, not much, but... Oh, yeah! Actually, Eastman came in earlier with some supplies in tow. Look at this. Woo! Kite says he's going to do something. He really does it. I wonder Zeon values him so highly. Ah, I'm sure there's some... Oh, you motherfucker. There are more supplies than that. They didn't pocket some for themselves. God damn it. Well, okay. That's one way to figure out that they're, they're like, actually see just some being relations have changed. pieces of shit. I'll have to keep that in mind. I gave him the benefit of the doubt, but if he's actually not going to, like, help the colony, make it all about himself, I see yeah. some relations have changed. I'll fucking take him down. Fuck him. Wonder what's inside. Uh, Could you all we come had, out for yeah, a second? his whereabouts. He's obviously not back here. Might be on the way back from Colony 9, but I mean, if we got back here, we could find somewhere Fortune Clovers grow. Seen any growing between uh, Federal Valley and Colony 9? Between Valley in Kilmaris Highland. Okay, then let's see if we can find Earl there. Right then. Okay. Should we get a move on? The discussion thing is, like, not horrible, but at the same time, it's one of those things where it's like... Did we really need... Did we really need to come back here and do that just for this quest? Oh, there you are. Find any fortune clovers? Ah, 
Karen and the others are worried about you. So I guess she told you everything. You can't go back to them. I'm worthless. Why do you think that? I'm not going to tell you how you should live your life, but I will listen to your troubles and see if I can offer any advice that would help. Why do you think that? Because I can't do it. I can't be an offseer. Look, Earl. Since I became the offseer in your place, I sent all friends who died in battle with all honor and respect, but everyone who died after the flame cloak was destroyed, what were those lives? Uh, the flame clock was destroyed. What were those lives for? I felt so much pity for them. I couldn't stand it. All I could do was try not to think of anything at all. And when it got to that point, I couldn't raise the motes when I played the melody. I can't. I, I can't send them off properly. I hid it from everyone in Colony Nine, but the secret's out now. How can I go back now? Hmm. I think when things change, you can't just desperately cling on to what things were. You should try to look for new avenues. What works now, because what worked before doesn't ha doesn't necessarily work now, right? You should find a different emotion to tap into, like gratitude. A different emotion? I've never considered that. Our role as Offseers is to communicate emotion. The Offseeing isn't the most important part. It's managing to convey that emotion. Interesting. I, I I would sit down and have a talk with Noah. What is how does off scene work? I'm very curious. I'd find your own answer starting now, but instead of suffering alone, why not talk to Colony Nine about your feelings? There's no need for you to bear the burden of this change alone. Commander. You're probably right, Noah. But it'll take courage to confess everything to the whole Colony Nine. First to talk to Carrie. It's a good idea. Good to add more names. Earl! Where were you? I was so worried. Something had happened to you. I don't know how I could have lived with myself. I'm sorry. Who offsees the offseers? Don't just yell at him without hearing his side. Yeah, come on. Earl's been thinking about loads of stuff. Let him talk. But. Gary? I can't see people off anymore. I need to work through things a bit. You saw what happened before, and I need to think about how things got to that point. And. I'm going to stop hiding my failure from Colony 9. What? But... I talked to Noah, and this is the conclusion I came to. I have to change the way I feel about sending in these weird, unclear times. Oh, Earl. Offseas are just so much all the time. <laughs> I hear ya. So much what? I was over there like, uh... Look, just look after him a bit more, okay? You don't need to tell me that. I'm his bodyguard, you know? Thank you, Carrie. Good job, team. Case closed. Woo. Well, I'm happy that worked out. I see some relations have changed. Woo, that was a big jump. Okay. It is nice that it seems to tell me when there are quests available. Whoa, like, even if it's like halfway across the map. Right here. There's an icon that it on. Icon that it throws on there. If there's one thing I've never cared for in video games, it's when it's just like this obtuse. Oh, you gotta figure out every corner of things just to play the interesting stuff. I sort of said it before, but I do feel like the exploration aspect of stuff is overrated. Like, I, I do feel as though this has had a good... This has had a good balance between exploration and, like telling you what you can do, right? It's big, open, you can find stuff, but generally it's not like stuff super duper hidden either. Look! Oh! Mimi! That's Kyrie from Colony Gamma! What? Friend of yours? Yes! But the story will have to wait. Okay. Let's give her a hand. Oh, another one of these. Okay. Oh, oh, there's more. <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, we're done. Yeah, that stuff with their, uh, 
that stuff with their inner link being able to get accuracy down and heals all AoE really is a fantastic crowd control. I'll say that again. It just, every time, it feels like so easy to just rely on that. It makes dealing with, honestly, almost any number of enemies just massively simpler. Me? Kyrie. Mio! You're at one piece. Thank you so much for saving me. I'm so glad you're alive. Oh, right. Who knows what they think about, the, like, their situation. Yes, yes. No need to get so excited. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll calm down. Deep breaths. What are you doing here, Kairi? Colony cameras. Oh, well, actually... You got separated from your unit again. I'm so sorry. I just have no sense of direction at all. Never change, Kairi. Well, maybe change a little. She's interesting, isn't she? Interesting. A pain in the neck. Same difference, I suppose. Have you called Noah interesting before? <laughs> so, Mio, those other people... Don't worry about them. They're my friends, and they help save you. Ah, so they did. Thanks again, Mio. Why thanks Mio? Well, the rest of us are mistake. I mean... Leave it. That's just Kyrie. Mio, let's hurry back to the colony. I bet the commander will be pleased to see you too. <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> yeah, about that. Can I have a quick word? Is she not even aware? Of course. What about? This is an odd question, but... Well, how do we look to you? I'm actually impressed that we haven't, like, come... A I guess that really has to be actively imposed. I would be interested to talk to her, and I'd be interested to talk to Xeon, honestly, about what precisely was going through their heads during all that. Like, what do they remember perceiving? Because I suppose... Oh, I suppose Ethel and them are just like... Well, and it's all muddled memory, and they weren't able to remember that, like, even at all. Ah. Oh. How do you look? Well, let me see. You can't just change your clothes as you please. That's against regulations. Fantastic. What if I had put them all back in their normal thing? <laughs> hmm. Well, they suit you so perfectly. I mean, your officer outfit suited you to a T as well, but I mean... Thanks, Kyrie. That's all I needed. Happy to help. I just need to discuss something with everyone. Mind waiting? No problem. She seems in her right mind anyway. No glowing iris. Just classic Kyrie. But does this mean we don't look like hostiles to everyone? Not 100% of the time at the very least. Which implies that some sort of active skill that has to be actively made manifest at a given time. And probably the reason we were able to deal with Colony 9 without dealing with this first was probably something more along the lines of we defeated the- we destroyed the flame clock, like, right away, yeah? Let's not worry about that for now. What should we do with her? That's the question. I want to take her back to the colony if we can. But can we? We can't send her out on her own. It's dangerous, and she'd definitely get lost again. Fine with me, but would she be okay hanging out with us Kevesi? It's possible that the commander of Colony Gamma would hear us out. Right, if they're not being controlled at the time. If we show up unannounced, then that definitely opens the opportunity for us to be able to have that talk. At least, he isn't the type to turn around and capture people without warning. Can we trust him? Better than the Consul. Trust me on that. If both of you are willing to go that far, then he seems worth meeting. Thank you. If anything happens, I'll do everything I can to keep you all safe, I promise. Thanks for waiting. Let's go, Kyrie. Ready, Mio? Good to add more names. 
Optimistic, optimistic, optimistic. And presumably the active skill of controlling would be on. Presumably the active... Uh, is she guest in the party apparently? No, I just remember there being guests in there. Um, <laughs> we're gonna bring the commander of Colony 9 <laughs> to Colony Gamma. Ah, oh, this is gonna go well. Huh? Super hey, well. Hey, something? Okay. Uh, so yeah, presumably the control the thing is connected to the flame block and all that sort of fun stuff. 